Welcome to a short preview of the new Article 6 pipeline platform. With this work, the UNEP Copenhagen Climate Center aims to shed light on and contextualize market-based cooperation under the Paris Agreement. Building on the current Excel version that you can find linked in the description below, we have set out to turn the data and analysis into a more accessible format, an interactive online platform, serving both experts and those still working to become one. Our goal is to make cooperation under Article 6 more transparent, fostering high ambition and ensuring fair implementation for everyone involved. In this video, we will briefly run through some of the coming features to give you a sense of what we are building and how that can be useful to you. When you start on the platform, you have several options to explore the data. Through a geographic lens, focusing on the type of mitigation activity or generate your own reports. You can also look at Article 6.2 or 6.4 cooperation in more detail and check out recent updates about new data or analysis. In this video, we will look at an overview structured by country. You see individual countries with activity highlighted on the map here, but you can also delve into regions or other country groups like LDCs or high income countries. Here we have a comparison across all parties of the Paris Agreement. Under 6.2, we have a quick overview of bilateral agreements between countries, including associated projects and transferred mitigation outcomes. For the Paris Agreement crediting mechanism, short PACM, you can see the total number of activities potentially transitioning from the clean development mechanism in green and newly proposed ones in blue, and which countries host them. You can click here to get more details and always download either the chart or the underlying data. Then we have a similar overview showing in which sectors these projects aim to reduce emissions and how that differs by country. At the bottom, you'll find a simple table that gives an overview across all countries and allows you to filter and sort freely. Here we have the countries with most bilateral agreements, but you can easily switch to see, for example, the ones with most new projects and programs. Let's have a quick look at a country page example. For India, there's not much concrete information on bilateral cooperation under Article 6.2 yet, but a lot of potential activities for the crediting mechanism. Using the same structure and colors as before, you see the number of activities in India and how that compares to other countries. Almost one third of transition requests are based there, only second to China. They don't have host party approvals, but the majority of newly proposed projects are located in India. Here as a kind of pipeline of potential PACM activities. For the types of activities, we start with a reminder of how current emissions are distributed across sectors to contextualize where Article 6 activities are aiming to support the abatement. And then for the project types, you see the most frequent ones first, but including a comparison of how common they are relative to other host countries. For example, while cook stove projects are the third most common in India, in other contexts they are even more prevalent. And whenever you see this plus symbol, you can click it for more details. Then you have the same aggregated overview for greenhouse gases and reductions and removals before coming to the individual project information. And finally, which types of projects India explicitly listed as their priorities. In the next two sections, we present information from India's national commitments and then on sustainable development impacts from Article 6 activities. Currently, we just have India's priorities from the participation requirements form, but especially with the new mandatory sustainable development tool, more analysis will be available here. Also still under construction, the overview on capacity building activities here. We are excited to share more with you soon, but the platform is very much a work in progress. This is why we want to invite you to get in touch, share your views, and help us develop a solution that ultimately improves international climate collaboration.